Hello YouTube, just wanted to make a quick little video for you showing my Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Sport. I know when I was uh, building this up I had questions on different parts, how they would look, how they would function, what their quality is, and I know some other people are looking for the same type of videos on YouTube as I was. so. I thought I would showcase my modifications and how they are, in my opinion. But first, let's make sure the weapon is safe and clear. No magazine. Nothing in the magazine. Magazine's out. Great. Magpul P-Mag. Very reliable. I like it. Nothing in the chamber. Clear. First of all, I really like this weapon. It's one of my favorites. Smith & Wesson did a great job with it. Uh, they made it very affordable. The, some of the reasons it's very affordable is because they left out a couple features. Nothing that is absolutely needed though. So it helps reduce the cost. First of all, you can see there is no forward assist, no dust cover, and an integrated trigger guard. To me, this suits my needs perfectly. Whenever I'm not using the rifle, it is in a locked case, so don't really expect any dust to get in there. I'm not going out into the desert, so no sand in there or anything. I only usually just take it to the range. Forward assist, not needed so far. I have about 700 rounds through it, not one malfunction ran perfectly so far. As for some of my modifications, let's see, have Magpul Myad grip, really great. I have the large back strap on it, fits my hand perfectly. Also has storage compartment. I have one round, extra round in there, uh, Allen wrench and some extra batteries for the red dot sight and my flashlight. <coughs> Next we have Magpul flip up sight, perfect, great quality. Then on this side we have Magpul BAAD lever, a bad lever. It makes reloading, dropping the bolt and holding the boat bolt open very easy and quick and it was very easy to install, just one screw that you need to Tight. Next, we have a Bushnell TRS-25 red dot sight mounted on a UTG riser. All the specs and part numbers are located in the description. The red dot sight will perfectly co-witness in the lower one-third with backup sights and a front post, which is something I really wanted just in case. Next, we have UTG quad rail, very high quality. Magpul XTM rail covers, <coughs> excuse me. Very, very nice. They were a bitch to put on though. Not very easy to put on. But once they are on, they are pretty solid. They ain't coming off. It's about the same texture and grip as the PMAG and on the Myad grip. Under that we have a quick detach UTG metal vertical rail grip. Also has storage compartment. I have some extra batteries in there also. On this side I have a no name brand rail mounted sling swivel with detach quick detach. If it'll come off. that at a local gun show for fairly cheap. <clears throat> I also have this, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just getting over cold, eBay brand flashlight and laser light. Got it pretty cheap on eBay, no name. Works perfectly. Very bright. Other than that, um, 
know, basic six position stock. I also have this Viking Tactics padded sling. Very nice, very high quality. I love it. Uh, and lastly, I have the fire and safe markings filled in with a uh, nail polish. <coughs> Some people have used crayon and other types of paint, but I had nail polish handy, so it came out perfectly. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do it. Basically just fill in the markings, wipe it off gently, and you're good to go. Couple of coats of that, you're good. Um, very happy with this. I love taking it out to the range. It's very fun. Uh, that's pretty much it. I have no other uh, future plans for it except for a 22 long rifle conversion bolt because of costs of 223 and 556. And maybe possibly a uh, amount that goes around the buffer tube for quick detach sling. <coughs> and that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, questions, please leave them. I will try to answer them to my abilities. And uh, thank you for watching.